Now, greasy grace is another label that's been put on this message. Now, that imagery, as you think about it, you're, you're on a pole, I guess, and you're working your way up to God, and you're slipping back and working your way up and slipping back. I mean, whoever said we were climbing anything to begin with? Isn't the gospel that Jesus Christ climbed down to us? That God climbed His way down to us in the person of Christ. And it's all a gift anyway. You weren't climbing up to God and slipping back. I know we've even heard this idea of, uh, well, you're backslidden. Have you heard that? You're a backslidden Christian. Well, again, that assumes that you were making some serious progress up that mountain. And then you just slip back, but don't worry, God, I'm going to try my hardest tomorrow. It's going to be real different than today. So there you are, kind of trekking up Mount Sinai with your law-based, rule-based living, and you just keep slipping a little bit, but don't worry, I'll be more dedicated and more committed tomorrow, Lord. Do you see, with this terminology of... uh, Greasy grace, and all of this backslidden type terminology, we're assuming that we're making efforts and we're making strides to get closer to God progressively. Now, the beautiful message of the gospel is that closeness with God is free. That closeness with God is a gift. That on day one, moment one of your life in Jesus Christ, you are as close to Him as you'll ever be. Isn't that awesome? Now, you're learning and you're growing in your understanding. But as far as that bond that you have with Jesus, He prayed for it. It was His idea. It was His agenda. You remember that prayer in John 17, that they may be one, Father, just as we are one. And He taught about it, vine and branches... And folks, it came true through the gospel message. When you believed, you were bonded and fused with Jesus. And there's no slipping back. There's no making temporary progress in that. You are as close to God today as you will ever be. 